Hey yo, hello, hello, this is Els coming to you from Bemis Crafty Corner. And today, I'm going to show you how to do these. Let me get these a little closer to the camera so you guys can see them. Um, and we're going to do these beautiful little um, embellishments. And, you know, you're going to use a couple of your tools here. You're going to use some of uh, your... Wink of Stella, or uh, if you have one of the Jelly Roll glitter pens, you're going to use one of those. Um, you're going to be using a brush or a dauber, whichever you prefer. Uh, I like to use the dauber. We're going to be using some ink. We are going to be using some book pages. This is a, a thesaurus that I use for this purpose. We're going to be using some dies and our die cutting machine today. We're also going to be using our stylus. And if you do not have a stylus that has a round tip on it, uh, you can use the end of a paintbrush uh, that is rounded, like a wooden paintbrush. That would work. And uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of gluing and things like that here and some scissors. And so I have all of the stuff that we need, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and clear the desk so that we can get started, and I will be right back. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get out two pieces of paper and that's only because these are really you don't want them really thin you could do three if you wanted to but the idea is to glue these together and I don't care how you do it uh, you can use your Mod Pod uh, you can use regular glue you can paint glue on there whatever you want to do um, the glue sticks work for this for the purposes of this I'm just going to use a glue stick just to kind of give you the idea And then we're just going to put one on top of the other and press it down and just let it dry. And then once it dries, that's where we're going to bring out our ink and a brush or, you know, if you prefer, you can use, um, you know, a dauber. And we're going to start on the outside of the page. And we're going to kind of go in. Do the other side. And then because I'm going to cut this in half, I'm going to go one down the center as well. And I'm basically just covering all the words with some ink. Don't forget to clean your brush. Uh, pretty simple. Just spray some water on it with paper towel and you can pretty much get all that ink off of there. <laughs> Still got to figure out where I'm going to put this, move this camera to. So once you have this, all you're going to do is just kind of uh, cut this down to size based on the die that you're going to be using. Okay. I am using these. These are um, Sizzix Thinlets and uh, the, the old thin ones. And I have a butterfly and a dragonfly. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these through my machine. Now I have found that the best way to do this when you're using the sidekick. Let me get my sidekick in here. The best way to do this is to Put your paper on your cutting pad, then center, and you want to make sure that your image is going in the right direction because you don't want you don't want it, your words to be sideways, okay? Um, so then I'll put this down, and then I have a piece of 110 pound cardstock here, and I use the embossing plate on top, and it's like just the right size to go through the big kit gives it just enough pressure to cut through the book page. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. We'll get this out of the way. And then we're going to take all this off. And what we end up with is our die. It's all cut out. 
And I'm going to go ahead and just do one of the dragonflies real quick so we can see that one as well. Again, I'm just centering it on the paper. I'm using the embossing pad on top of it. And then just 110 pound cardstock. And it doesn't matter which direction you, you put this in. But I think the 110 pound cardstock just gives it um, more of a grab. It makes it a little easier to cut it. So we're just going to run that through. Just like that. Get rid of my pieces and parts here. Put this to the side. And I'll just take out my dragonfly. Okay? So now I have my two pieces cut out. And the next thing we're going to do is the decorating. So I'm going to go ahead and clear some of this cutting stuff off of here. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I have my Jelly Roll glitter pen. Uh, I have a paintbrush here because I'm going to use the end. Uh, also have a stylus because I may use that. I do have my pokey tool because I'm going to be using some jewels and I have out my jewel case. Okay, so here's my little guys. And the first thing I want to do is I want to put some glitter on them. So you can use whatever kind of pens you want, whatever kind of glitter you want. If you want to put, um, you know, stickles on here, you could certainly do that. What I like to do is just put a few lines just to give it a little bit of sparkle on each side. And it's just a little bit of sparkle to that. Okay. And on the dragonflies, I kind of like to do like a long circle on each of the wings. And it gives it kind of an iridescent look. I like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm not going to worry about the tail or anything. Now I'm going to be putting some jewels on here to dress these up a little bit. So let's take a look. So these guys are blue. And so I can use any kind of jewel I want, but I'm going to use some blue ones. No, those are kind of purpley. I don't want purpley. Let's do let's do white. You know? Let's just do white. Um, because they're white, you know, they're, they're blue. They've got enough blue on them. Let's add some white to it. Okay. And you know, I'm going to add some water dots. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some water dots. So I have these little water dots here. Those will be cute. And I'm going to use my stylus. And all I'm going to do is just pluck these off. And I can use a little bit of glue if I want to. And I'm just going to put them in the center, sort of creating a body for these little guys. And one on his little bottom here. Just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. Let me get this out of the way. Sit, stay, Ubu. Okay. So now, I want to give them a little dimension. And so what I'm going to do is get out my foam. And I'm just going to place these on the foam. And this is where the stylus um, or your paintbrush is going to come in. If you start on the outside and just kind of move in towards the center, just giving it a little bit of pressure and going in little teeny circles, you're going to draw the wing up and your paper may separate and that's okay it's just going to give it added dimension okay and starting always from the outside and going in just giving it a little bit of dimension there okay and then i'm going to do the same thing on the butterfly but on this one i'm going to show you using the paintbrush so again i'm going to start here I'm 
just going to come in. Start on the outside and come in. Okay. Start out here and come in. Give it a little bit of pressure. And it brings those wings up and gives it a bit of a, a dimensional look. Okay. So that's it. That's my quick and easy project. Let me bring the other ones back in so you can see them. So this is our project for today. Very simple, very easy, and you can use any die that you have that doesn't have like intricate pieces in it because it's not gonna work for this. Um, but you can do it certainly with any other piece. You can use the uh, intricate ones, but if you do that, you're not gonna be able to get the dimension out of them because if you try to go over these on the foam, what'll happen is you'll end up tearing the dimension. So uh, anything that's got texture to it. So that's it. Those are our little embellishments for today. Anyway, uh, if you're new here, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like me, ring my bell, and share me with all your friends. And then your friends can be my friends, and my friends can be your friends, and our friends can get to be friends. And before you know it, we have a giant crafting community. Until I see you again, do me a favor, stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.